Christmas Eve. So while some are rushing to do last minute shopping, others are headed out of town. So if you're planning on flying or driving today, we're checking your holiday travel. Here's a live look outside. This is how it's shaping up so far on I-15 and the I-215 South Interchange in Murray. Things looking pretty good, but there are a few clouds on the horizon. We know that may change things just a bit. ABC4's Jared Jatini has been at the Salt Lake Airport all morning long, so he's covering what you can expect if you're flying down there today. According to TripAdvisor, 115 million Americans are expected to travel over the holiday, with 7 million expected to travel by air. More people traveling created long lines at Salt Lake City International. It's something folks we spoke to took into mind this Christmas Eve. Holiday music smoothed over a bustling Salt Lake International. Try to get here earlier than we are right now. To bypass long lines at security and baggage drop off, airport officials warned folks to arrive two hours before a flight and come with a printed or electronic boarding pass. Some folks we spoke to are trading Utah's projected white Christmas for Christmas under the sun. Where are we going for Christmas? Mexico City. Oh. We're traveling to Hawaii. <laughs> Cambodia and Malaysia. While everyone's destination is different, the brands are traveling to Southeast Asia to spend the holidays with a loved one. My daughter lives there, and plus I've always wanted to go to Cambodia. And the brands say it'll be a first. We're going to go together. And what are you excited about? Oh, traveling with her. We've just been married less than a year, so it's really exciting to go together. While it's advised to pack light, the brands made sure to bring with them some holiday tradition. And we have stockings to open because we're going to miss Christmas. We're going to cross the date line and so somewhere we're going to open our stockings because Santa will find us. Although airports in the east and west coast are experiencing some major weather delays, no weather delays here at Salt Lake International Airport. Now the airport expects the next busiest day of travel to be the day after Christmas, which is December 26. Make sure to download the SLC Airport app for real-time updates. This will be the last major holiday at this airport before the new one opens next year. I'm Jared Jatsanini, ABC4 News. All right, thank you.